Mike Zeno Ministries presents Called to Victory. Now here are your hosts, the senior pastors of Glory and Peace Church International, pastors Mike and Maria Efezino. Renew, renew, renew. You know, when you say something to be renewed, that means it was new before, right? So we make it new again. Somebody shout hallelujah. The word of God commands us to do something, to do what? Renew our mind. Can a bankrupt business function? There's nothing there. So it's insanity for you to go to the bankrupt business that has nothing and say, oh, I want to purchase this. Purchase what? There's nothing there. So that business needs a revamping. It needs, it needs a renewal of mine. I say, okay, I got business skills. What can I do next? Lord, show me. The anointing for business is in my life. Show me how to revamp this thing. Say amen. amen. Anointings don't die. That's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can never die. So it's alive and well. So walk in the Spirit to renew your mind. Lord, I see God something. Show me. And he begins to show you. And revival now comes into that business. Somebody shout hallelujah. Applies to marriage. Applies to children. Applies to anything. Anything is redeemable. He's called our redeemer. Say amen. Say redeemer. Friend. Master. Savior. You know the redeemer buys. In the book of Ruth, it was Obed that went to what? Get the shoe. Buy the shoe. Say amen. That's the first time you see the Redeemer at work. Get the shoe. Paid for the shoe. Got the shoe to redeem. May God redeem every area of our lives. Where we are bankrupt, may he redeem us. There is always hope in God. Failure is not the end of the story. When you fail... God can lift you up. He said, when you fall, he will cause you to rise again. He is a lifter. He is a glory and the lifter of your head. Somebody shout hallelujah. May God lift you up from the dung hill. May he lift you up from a lower class to a higher class. In the name of Jesus. Just because things are not working, it doesn't mean it will not work tomorrow. You renew your mind knowing that, yes, my tomorrow is greater than now. My now is greater than the now that I just left. Say amen. When I came in here one hour ago, I've gone greater. That is a renewed mind. That's how you think. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Somebody shout hallelujah. The things that are happening in your home are not the end of your story. Greater is coming. Greater is now. Greater is he who is in you. Than he that's in the world. That's the word of God. Greater one lives in you than in the world. The world is just our business area. It's not God. God lives in you. Somebody say he lives in me. So how can you fail? He can never fail, so you can never fail. The kind of thing we call failure is really not failure. It's called process. Going through due process. You are being processed. Going to the higher and higher and higher dimension. Higher level. Somebody shout hallelujah. Renew your mind once and for all. When obstacles come, they are not your story. They are called obstacles. They are there to restrain you. But somebody say, I shall not be restrainable. They are there to restrict you. But we know our God. The people who know their God, they shall be what? Strong, great, and they do great what? Exploits. That is a renewed mind. That's how you think. When obstacle comes, say, ha, there's something behind. There's something that that thing is there to block. You shall not block it. I'm coming every side. Either you get out of my way, get knocked down, pushed down. You know when buffaloes are running in a group? Do you see the buffalo uh, person that is trying to harness them and uh, stay in the middle of them? 
They go on the side. They are on their horse, riding on the side, trying to channel them to the level where they want them. If you stay there in the middle of them running, what's going to happen to you? It's called what? Stampede. Mash potato. Everything bulldozed down. May you not be the one that is bulldozer. May you be the bulldozer. In the name of Jesus. If Satan shows up in your business, bulldoze him out of the way. Say, I am the redeemer of the Lord. I've never seen a policeman come in and say, oh, you know, I'm authority, you know. Who's going to listen to that kind of policeman that I have to re say, this is my qualification? The way they walk, they walk, all of them walk the same, you know. I don't know what happened to their legs. Maybe it's their training, you know, and all the gadgets they're wearing. Watch them. They say walk about them. Right? And when they are talking, they are not there for smile and jokes. They mean business. You are a child of the Most High God. Do demons know that you, don't, you are not fooling around? When you show up and you wake up, it should be, oh my God. They don't even call God. Maybe they call Lucifer, who knows. They say, hey. Stay out of that house. Stay out of that neighborhood. Stay out of their business. They don't only deal with us, they deal with all our cohorts. David has slain what? When he slew Goliath, there's only one person he killed. But what was the song? The song was 10,000. They say Saul, 1,000. Saul didn't kill one Goliath, but he's the king. You know, you got to get favor from the king. He just sent Saul to become a crazy person. When Satan shows up and begins to cause problems in your finance, in your health, in your money, in your whatever, in your marriage, in your children's life, ha, rise. You rise. You rise and say, who's this uncircumcised Philistine? If you stay there and sleep on your bed and wamble and <laughs> you buy 20,000 Kleenex, your eyes is going to be so red and they shoot out of the socket. And people see you. You need to start wearing sunglasses so people don't see it. It's called stress bulging. May you be free from that kind of rubbish. In the name of Jesus, you got to fight. The Bible says we are in a warfare. Romans 8, so you need to read the whole chapter at your own time. It is loaded. Say amen. Somebody say, I'm walking in the spirit. It's a decision. Decision from your soul. Renew your mind. Renew your mind. You have no problem. The problem you always have is always your mind problem. How you're thinking. Every battle is in the mind. A lot of people don't need to go to any movie theater. They have their own going on every day. They always see themselves defeated, dejected, destroyed, and Satan always pursuing them. Every dream they have. You know, I used to have people, when I used to do a lot of counseling, I used to have them, they say, oh, I just saw Satan pursuing me with a cutlass. Like a, a machete. I just saw him. And then another one just flew in front. And I'm going, after I listened to this story, I said, eh? who are you? Who should be doing the pursuing? David, what did the instruction from the word of God say? Pursue, overtake. Pursue and do what? The enemy came, stole his wife, his children, his, his blessing. When he inquired of the Lord, the Lord says, do what? Pursue them, overtake them, finish them up. You are the pursuer. Say, I'm the pursuer. You renew your mind from now, I'm the what? Pursuer. That person disturbing you at your workplace is not in charge. You are in charge. Say, I'm in charge. 
<laughs> Somebody disturbing you from your family, extended family, or your in-law or outlaw, whatever they are, you are in charge. Say, I'm in charge. So don't hide from going to family reunion. You can go there and be in charge. And just says, oh, Auntie Alicia is going to be there, so I'm not going to be. She just drives me bananas. Well, why don't you buy some bananas and be the one giving to her to eat? You are in charge. Say, I'm in charge. Well, you've been authorized. Jesus says, in my name, you shall cast out devils. So who's in charge there? You've been authorized. You have the name of Jesus. The name. Philippians 2 says the name above all names. At the name of Jesus, every knee bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Renew your mind once and for all. You wait for somebody to show up or somebody to come and do something for you. Take your place and begin to do what you need to do. It's not going to change until you start doing that. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. If the word of God says you are blessed, then begin to say I'm blessed. Whether your bank account shows it or not, you say I'm blessed. And then your bank account will start showing it. Oh, it got quiet again. Hallelujah. 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 There are people in this house that are taking the word and something is happening to them and their family. There are people on television that are taking the word and something is happening to them. I've seen people move. They were here and they just... <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God gives you everything you need. Every single thing you need is coming from the word. It's not coming from the world. It's coming from God. He's the maker of the world. Why would you go to the things he make to be your solution? Go to the one who made the things. He know how to tailor make and custom make for you. Stop going to the things he made. They are there for your pleasure. But they are not the answer. Go to the maker. Renew your mind once and for all. Some people, a little blessing, they become pompous. I've seen it. You just know the result. It's coming down. It says, the Bible says, what did it tell you? It says, you shall remember what? The Lord your God. For it is he who gives you power to do what? Get wealth. Renew your mind. You want to be wealthy? Go to God. Say, God, make me wealthy. You shall remember. So after he blessed you a little bit, you forget to remember. Remember, renewing your mind is a daily thing. Is that not what I said at the beginning? So every day you must remember him. God is you that bless me. God is you that bless me. Thank you, Lord. You bless me. You brought me here. Let me never forget. It's a daily thing. You don't just remember once in a while. Once in a year, you know, in Nigeria they have service. They call it Thanksgiving service. Once a year, you come out. We do the same year. We have Thanksgiving, but we don't do it the way they do it there. Here we just eat turkey and eat chicken. But Thanksgiving in Nigeria is the day you bring your best offering. The best offering you will give to God, you bring it. Yeah, you can renew, renew your mind. That's a good thing. Bring to the house of God. Amen? You see women who used to sell shrimp in a little tray. From selling shrimp, they begin to build a house. Because they practice what? Thanksgiving with their little shrimp. A little tray of shrimp selling. They build one, two house, three house. Some, they just sell corn on the cob. 
We eat a dozen. Corn on the cob. It's not corn season yet. The ones you have now is coming from somewhere, but very soon it's going to be corn season. We get our local ones. But instead of eating the one dozen country, we do what? Sell eight and sell four for her family. And little by little, she begins to grow her business. And in that little eight, she's giving her tithe and her offering. A lot of you don't tithe. And a lot of you tithe. We know who tithe in this house. Because we look at the books. I don't look at it anymore. I just say, Lord, praise the Lord, because it gets depressing. So I don't want to be depressed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Here you go. My goodness. I know God bless this person. They don't tithe. But they shout hallelujah and they dance. You shake your bum bum in church and all of that. But you don't tithe. You got to renew your mind. It's not this that is going to get you there. It's what you do. Renew your mind what? How can God bless you? And you have audacity to hold back. So you are going to live. Instead of living on 90%, you're going to be living on what? 10%. You got the order reversed. We don't like to hear this. Tight is a sacred cow that needs to be slaughtered and destroyed. In the church. See, nobody said amen. Nobody said amen. He got quiet like a mouse in here. I don't know where the lions went. The lions are hiding and the mouse are in charge. May we renew our mind. The Bible says, Where is the, don't you have the voice of a king? A king doesn't whisper. You never know when a king is going to turn on you. He's a king. Because he's a king, he can just, his wrath can just come out. And he say, oh, king. Ah. And they begin to beg. May you be that king that God says you are. What is tight? What is 10%? I remember when we had nothing. I did not grow up in nothing. We both grew up blessed. But surrendering everything to the kingdom and starting all over with nothing. We started with what? Nothing in this land. You are standing in a miracle. You are sitting in a miracle. Somebody shout hallelujah. We started, we did not grow up what? In nothing. We grew up with the best. Did you know in the 60s when only few people had vehicles? We have vehicle. We have driver that drives us to school. I had a chauffeur. So you want to talk about people who are spoiled? Apostle is spoiled growing up. I was spoiled growing up. All I knew was how to play or how to walk. You play until they call you to eat. Your food is cooked for you. Your bed is made for you. You get to say, what do you want to eat? And you say, I want to eat this. Amen. Amen. And God said, let go of all of that. And then you're going to be the one doing the laundry, washing the toilet. Never washed toilet in my life until I came here. You're going to be doing the cooking. You never know. You never thought the bad things were expensive until you have nothing and then you begin to. I never knew how to count. I never count coins until. But somebody say, I'm free. I don't do that anymore. I'm talking about 30, eight, 30 almost 39 years ago. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Start afresh with zero. Come here with only two suitcases. Pregnant with a, a baby. No mother, no father, no auntie, no uncle. Never raised a baby by myself before. Come from where there is nanny to zero. 
There is no nanny. You are on your own. Nothing. Somebody say, look what God has done. And this is not even the best year. The best is still yet to come. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. My problem now is always, oh my God, I got too much. How am I going to clean up all this? Before it was like zero. From zero. So God can start you all over again. God can start you all over again. Whoever is out there that thinks that it's over, it's not over, it's just beginning. Say amen. Amen. Say amen. amen. Never cut grass before you do grass, you do garden work. I only planted flowers because I love flowers. I plant flowers. I think I had over 100 different kinds of flowers I planted. Well, even when I got married, I did that in my father-in-law's house. I planted there all kinds of species. When I went back after 10 years, I said, what happened to all the flowers? Because it's not their vision. You must renew your mind. You must know what to do. You are a child of the Most High God. God has not called you to rubbish. He's called you to greatness. you got to start changing that every day, every day, every day, every day. Say amen. All right, let's go to another scripture. So you're going to do Romans 8 at home by yourself, right? Okay, it tells you about the kind of nature of walking. So verse 7 of Romans 8, I'll do 8 and uh, 7 and 8 of Romans 8, and then we're going to move to another scripture. It says, because the carnal mind is what? Enemy against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So if you have a carnal mind, a flesh thinker, you will never please God. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot do what? Please God. So that means you are not a faith person. It's giving you a measure of faith to start. Because faith, faith can grow. It's a great faith. There's great faith. So a measure doesn't start from that. It grows. You can grow to greater. Amen? So, it said they cannot please God. And without faith, it is in what? Impossible. Somebody say impossible. Impossible to f- Please God. So when you walk in the flesh and you are flesh minded, everything you do, you are so kana. Kana means you are meat. Everything is of flesh. No spirit. Meat head. In, in Nigeria, you say yam head. That's potato head. All you want to eat is potato, meat and potato. If there's no meat and potato in the place, forget it. Don't just be a kana person. You can renew your mind because the benefit is for you and you alone. Say there is benefit in God. My renewal of my mind is to benefit me so I can benefit others. So I can do the perfect will of God. He says our reasonable service. You are to serve with your mind. But the mind has to be the mind of Christ. If you invest in carnality and you are investing, investing, the end result is destruction. That's the word of the Lord. It's said to be destruction. Why invest into destruction? Invest into corruption. Matthew 6 tells you that. Say invest where there's no rust, moth, or corruption. The Bible says you've been saved by the incorruptible seed of God. So in the spirit, there is no corruption. So I want to stay in the place there is no corruption. All I have to do is renew my mind. As I hear God's word about something, you live by that. You don't live by your culture. The things in your culture that align themselves with the word of God, keep. If they don't align with the word of God, dump it immediately. That's called renewing of your mind. You cannot have both. There is no mixture in God. You don't do flesh and spirit mixed together. There's no such cocktail. You see that spirit or flesh? So your culture has taught you some stuff. And if it does not align with the word of God, how would you know it aligns with the word of God? That means you've got to eat the word of God on a daily basis. So you know. Man shall not do what again? 
Matthew 4 tells you that. Shall not live by bread alone, but by what? You live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So what has God got to say about that issue? That's how you live. There's no ifs or but or suggestion or multiple choice. It's only one choice. And that choice is called one way Jesus. Jesus says, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. So life, truth, way, you need Jesus. What has he got to say? What has the word got to say? Jesus is the living word. It's the incorruptible seed of God. What has he got to say about this issue? That's how you live. How you raise your children, how you live in a marriage. You might be married to a monster, but you can change that. By choosing not to be a monster yourself. It got quiet again. If you're having problem in your marriage today, may you be free. In the name of Jesus. You live on God's standard. Say amen. How do you raise your children? Raise them in God. The Bible says even if they depart, they will come back. Renew your mind. When you say, peace be still. Peace be still. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. At least for me, I don't serve a dead God. It's going to be me, God, and God, and God alone. You know, one of my favorite songs is, I have decided to do what? Follow Jesus. If no one comes with me, I'm still going. It's already a decision I made over 40-something years ago. It will never change. Somebody shout hallelujah. I know if I'm hungry, he can take care of me. To receive a CD of today's program, send $10 to Mike Zeno Ministries, Post Office Box 3990, Winnipeg, Manitoba, R2W5H9. To order by Visa or MasterCard, call 204-582-6795. Request the program number on your screen. Thank you for watching Call to Victory with your hosts, Pastors Mike and Maria Efezino. This is a viewer-supported program. Thank you for your financial gifts. Call, write, or follow us online. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or watch us on our YouTube channel. This has been a Mike Zeno Ministries presentation.